Here we go. New collaboration, Overwatch 2 and One Punch Man. So there's skins for uh, Doomfist, Kiriko, and Genji. General updates. Adjusted distance atten attenuation on enemy footsteps. We missed a change in our season three patch notes about some adjustments made to the distance in which you can hear enemy footsteps. We've continued to refine this change and have found a nice middle ground between where it was in season two and where it was prior to the taste patch. Okay, let me show you something, chat. After the changes. So these are what it's like after the changes. Okay, I think that when you crouch, you should make little to no footsteps so enemies can't hear you. Okay, but listen to this. This is the middle ground that they've found right now. <laughs> That's the middle ground they found right now. So <laughs> it's uh, don't try and flank, guys. Do not try to go for sneaky plays in enemy backline with crouch because it's not gonna work. Okay, it's not gonna work uh challenges uh here they are i'll be honest i don't really care about them uh but uh you can you know pause the pause the video if you care about them we fixed about causing large parties to wait longer in queues than intended the matchmaker will now prioritize putting parties together which have a similar delta between the highest and lowest rated players we made improvements that should help reduce unranked queues times and increase competitive match quality we'll see that today if uh if that's true competitive updates competitive mystic heroes added to competitive play uh competitive screen layout update we've added uh buttons to the competitive play menu that will allow players to easily access the tier legend leaderboard and competitive progress scenes screens the survivor leaderboard update players in survivor will now see an animated update on their current position on the leaderboard after each match that's actually pretty nice nice little quality of life change hero updates we got tanks developer comment terra surge is a, a channeled ultimate which cannot be interrupted by most abilities can it even be interrupted by any abilities maybe like maywall put her up but like i don't know i don't even think that works can be interrupted by most abilities as against the same effects uh, as fortify while this makes sense for stunts sombra's hack interrupt shouldn't be negated and now correctly cancels terra surge Okay, so Sombra can now hack her. Ooh, it's going to be fun to play Sombra now. Ramatra. Players found that shifting out of Ramatra's form before activating the Annihilation Ultimate would fully reset Nemesis form's bonus armor. Yep. To smooth out the gameplay, it now resets the armor health automatically as part of the ultimate activation. So, one thing that I preach is having a high skill ceiling for a game and not dumbing down characters so for example the some the sojourn changes if you want to call them changes or nerfs I, I don't really care they pretty much made her lower skill because you're now being rewarded way more proportionally for going for body shots with her right clicks because you only do 1.5 times damage for headshots where like every other character except for widow and kiriko does two times headshot so, so now sojourn does the least amount of damage amplification with a headshot with her right click so dumbing down characters is not the way to go in my opinion and i thought that the fact that you had to go out of shift you had to go out of um what is it um nemesis form to then activate your ultimate right after in order to get maximum value added a little bit of extra skill to the character <clears throat> which they have completely wiped out now so I'm not a big fan of that. Like, I didn't mind that you could go out of the form to then go into ultimate in order to gain the armor. I just liked that there was that level of skill that you needed, that you needed to, like, do those fast movements on your on your keyboard in order to get the maximum value, pretty much. Because it also puts you at a little bit of a vulnerable risk to die if you go out of it to then go back in. But again, if you do it fast enough, it's not really that big of a problem, but it takes skill to do it incredibly fast consistently. So, yeah, I'm not a big fan of this take. Let's see. Developer comment, the chain hook cooldown beginning when the ability started instead of at the end caused some confusion when discussing the cooldown since once you can see the timer, it appeared a second shorter, seven seconds, than the actual maximum cooldown. After fixing that, we're reducing the cooldown overall uh, by an additional second to increase the frequency of Roadhog's uh, team utility now that being pulled in by chain hook is less deadly. Yeah, I, I actually don't mind this cooldown, uh, this, this change. Um, 
Roadhog now is is way more team reliant since um what is the like I think max you can do is like 160 or 170 damage like consistently of course if you hit all headshots you might still be able to one shots but if I'm 200 HP I don't die to Roadhog but if I'm like 160 or 170 HP I, I do see myself dying to him a lot when I get hooked but I yeah I don't know I don't mind this change that much let's see dude developer comment there's now a hero control option for Wrecking Ball to set a separate aim sensitivity while transformed into a ball as players may want to aim his weapons in first person and move the camera in third person significantly differently. Uh, in addition, a visual indicator for Grabbing Claw has been added to indicate its maximum duration before ultimately detaching. Again, I feel like there was a skill um attached to knowing when the timer would run out automatically and they uh again now that's taken out of the game making characters a lot easier to play maybe not a lot easier but easier to play non nonetheless so oh minefield arming time increase from 1 to 1.5 they made um so this is overall the nerf for him because i remember when this was so it was originally 1.25 and then they nerfed it down to one and now everybody's dying from mines. So now they're... Uh, 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 oh, no, no. They buffed it from, from 1.25 to 1. And now they're nerfing it to 1, point, uh, 1 to 1.25. So wasn't it... No, I think it was 1.5, right? We can see it down here, right? Oh, it was 1. Oh, no mind. Yeah, I was wrong. Okay. So this, Okay, so they're trying to find a middle ground right now. Yeah, they're trying to find a middle ground now. Let's see if people still die as much to it. The shared cooldown for particle barrier and projectile barrier reduced from 11 to 10 seconds. So they're changing a lot of tanks well with all these changes to tanks surely we'll see a lot of changes to dps and supports right so here we go guys dps bob now prefers to shoot the enemy targets that ash ash damages with her rifle oh oh that's pretty nice that's like torb and his turret that way you can't just have a ramatra face tank walk up to a bob and just hold like go into nemesis form and hold right click and so it's high burst damage potential with storm arrow and the storm born storm arrows and strong utility with sonic arrow but still underperforms compared to other heroes in the same role this change increases his survivability without directly improving his strength uh lunch the cooldown decreased from five to four seconds that's actually pretty strong i um i think i remember correct me if i'm wrong guys i remember a long time ago hanzo got a cooldown a, a lunge cooldown buff and it actually like made him being played a lot more a survivability and movement in overwatch is very crucial i definitely think hanzo is going to be played more because of this even though it's not a, a, a like to, to some it might not be a significant buff like hanzo is already strong with his one shot and the utility and like the the sonic arrow that he has um and the fact that he's much harder to kill now i'll it's i think he's going to be played a lot more um base places ultimate cast time sometimes led to situations where the animation appeared to have been completed but there was still additional time that it uh, could get interrupted the chains will help mitigate that feeling without significantly reducing counterplay in addition to rapidly launching her upwards jump jet used uh, to always move farah forward a small amount which made the ability feel less responsive when trying to move to the side or backwards the change now enables a small amount of horizontal momentum in any direction. Jump jet movement is now influenced by directional inputs. Okay. Yeah, like beforehand, yeah, it, it pretty much just launched you straight up in the air, which didn't really introduce a lot of counterplay. By the way, guys, this is a two liter Coca-Cola bottle. If you were wondering in size comparisons, I'm six foot five. Okay. I'm just an absolute giant. Yeah, so beforehand, the real way to counterplay someone with your jump jet is by using your E ability as well. So you would like jump jet, E the wall, and like get a little bit of like sideways uh, movement there. But so I like that there's more counterplay now with Farah. Uh, let's see, dude. Due to the angle of Sojourn's torso in her default animation stance, her torso hit volume was more difficult to hit compared to similar size heroes torso hit volume with increase by 20 percent well when when are they gonna make a uh, mini diva thicker huh and anna uh support baptiste is capable of potent damage and healing output but often slightly underperforms across many skill levels well the reason for why he's slightly underperforming is just the meta just doesn't fit him so surely we shouldn't buff him 
in order to make him because if we buff baptiste when the meta doesn't fit him in order to make him stronger then once the meta then fits him once tank characters uh slow tank characters uh becomes meta instead of uh winston and and uh, and, and ball that we have right now then he will be overperforming like crazy so surely we shouldn't be puffing buffing him right now right guys uh, this change to the immortality feels minimum health threshold would strengthen his utility and enable him to more reliably assist his allies after his effect ends. So we're buffing immortality field. Okay. Oh, that's it for support? Okay. All right. Um, they somehow made this uglier. I don't know how they, I don't know how that was possible. They actually make it look even uglier than it was before.